really the, the, the value add of the telescopic product line comes into stockpiling and desegregated stockpiles, which is where the Telestack really shines. Our in-house automation team has put together a user-friendly control system that increases performance in the field. Uh, we've got four different pile types. The most common is a radial windrow, which is primarily used for fully and partially desegregated piles. We also have the ability to do inline windrow, radial, conical, and inline conical. So the radial windrow, the, the operation mode is to have a continuous radial travel back and forth, and then to vary the stinger extension at the end of the radial travel distance. And the key there is it's constantly radial traveling. With a radial conical pile, it allows you to build a small conical pile and then radial over and build another conical pile and basically continue that operation. It tends to be a lot less movement of the stacker, but it also doesn't build a desegregated pile. For small areas, inline windrow tends to do well, and the motion is to extend the stinger and then retract the stinger back in using constant stinger motion. It allows you to build a lot of volume without getting a lot of radial motion. The last one is inline conical, which is the inline version of the radial conical. So you build small conical stockpiles and then extend or retract your stinger and build a, a stockpile next to it. We use a radial centering switch and a time-based approach for our radial travel. So if it doesn't see the centering switch at every pass, it, it doesn't matter. It's able to keep traveling and then um, if there is any drift, it gets it back on track. It's got a robust system for viewing the centering switch using a photo eye and a reflective target, which is less prone to missing the target in high wind situations. In addition, we use an ultrasonic sensor at the discharge end. It's less prone to, to seeing false trips from dust or from wind and uh, tends to perform really well for our system. One major advantage of our uh, Pile Pro automation system is the ability to save stockpiles. So at the end of the day, the operator is able to save where he's at, shut down the machine, do his maintenance checks, and the next day he can start up and continue right where he left off without having to go and introduce all the same parameters into the, the stockpile program. If you look at a traditional stockpiling conveyor, where it just reads the pile, the first iteration of the incline, it's going to continue to raise without building out the back side of the pile, which creates a triangular pile type that looks like a shrunken version of a typical stockpile. The way it, our system is set up, we use a zoning technique. Every step out of the stinger extension, it sees the pile at each incline level, and that allows us to build the full trapezoidal pile you get the true 30% increase in stockpile capacity in comparison to a standard radial stacker when done that way.